Ryan wants you to expect from you both you obey me instructions at all times. When I tell you a break, you both break clean. Defend yourselves at all times and the best of luck to you both. Touch gloves. Touch them up. Well done. Well done. Kareem Machur has never been stopped. Liam Williams promised, he said, 100% at the final press conference. A stoppage win, a knockout win is what I will get. And how well he's come back after those performances against Liam Smith to come back and beat Mark Heffron brilliantly that night, then stop Joe Mullander in the first defence of that British title Round one. at middleweight. He looks very much at home and is moving towards, one would suspect, if he wins this and wins it well, moving towards a possible world title challenge before too long. Well, it certainly seems that way. I think there's a, you know, it's, it's a golf where really he's fighting now to world level, of course, but you know, he's in the right direction. And I, you forget he turned pro as a middleweight and then moved back down to light middle. So maybe this is where he's always should have been. Who knows? But... No, he did. He looks, looks, looks a little bit more strong, and I, th and I think just the only, the only problem with Williams has been sometimes the lack of discipline. Well, a lot in, in the ring, not outside the ring. I mean, inside the ring, and he loses his head. But I think with Dominic Ingalls, certainly in, in that Heffron fight, he kept him really calm and composed. Well, you say about you know composure inside the ring and discipline inside the ring. I think Liam would say that okay, obviously he's getting on well with Dominic Ingle as a trainer, but I think it suited him getting away to Sheffield and getting yeah, somewhere maybe, where yeah. for five days a week he can concentrate wholly on his boxing. Yeah, but sometimes some people need that. Some people need it more comfortable like a Kazagi to be at home all the time. You've got to find what, what suits yeah, you best. Whatever suits you, isn't it? And it might not always be what you like the best. Good right hand there from Williams. And already setting his stall out, taking a centre of that ring. Somebody asked him about what his dream fight would be this week, and he said, me, Golovkin. That's who I want. I <laughs> want Gennady Golovkin. Be careful what you wish for. That's right, but, you know, you, you, you've got to aim for the highest, haven't Absolutely. you? Absolutely. Why, why wouldn't you Definitely. want to aim for the highest? You, you, you wouldn't think you'd be ready right now, of course, but you have to aim for that. WBC silver belt at stake here. WBC champion is Jamel Charlo. Others, that, Demetrius Andrade, WBO, IBF, of course. Canelo Alvarez and the WBA super, WBA regular. Wow. Lovely Brank. No, sorry, lovely there from Williams. Just a little bit of injection in pace here with that combination. Made a nice start. And again, controlled, disciplined. Achor, talk about his durability. He went the full 12 round distance with the formidable Canadian puncher David Lemieux. Good shot there from Achor. Nice little body shot. I think Lemieux might have already been ruined by Billy Joe Saunders there, to be fair though. <laughs> Psychologically, <laughs> oh, if not physically. Lost. From mature there, just staying nice and low. Making Williams having a little bit, little bit of searching for the target now. Making it a more difficult figure to hit. Mature went the distance with Martin Murray a few years back. Ten rounds. Some good names on his record. And, and I think that's that's I think for Williams is keeping his. His temperament is checked, that's important. Then he, Round two. Not to get too excited or one. No, he wants he wants to tear through everybody, and I think he has to just sometimes keep a little bit of a rain on that. Twelve round of this one into the second. Williams narrowly, seemingly maybe doing enough to take the opener. Oh, it was his round for sure. That's good. Now 27 years old, Liam. See what he's doing here. It's not, it's not dramatic, but he's because he's because he's taking the, the centre of the ring, and that front foot's just putting a little bit of pressure there on the show. It's forcing, he's forcing him to throw a shot, and then Williams can just take a little lean back and counter him every time, make him miss, make him pay. A couple of good body shots there, oh, right and the left. Felt that one comes right through the tag with that right hand. A lovely shot there from Williams. And Williams senses that Achur felt the weight of that one. It's a very good finisher of a fight when he gets a man going.
It was a lovely technique there. He just turned from the core, didn't he? And pushed off that back leg. Nice, long, straight with right hand. Mature first became the French champion back in 2013. Seven defences since then. He's a former European champion. Oh. Good work from Williams. He's gone. He's gone. Midway through the second round, Karim Achur never stopped and he's in big trouble. And Williams is going looking for him right here, right now. And he's down for a second time. Left hand puts him down on the seat of his pants and referee John Latham will want to be very sure that he's OK and he's stopped it. He stopped it. The fight is all over. They were going to throw the card in anyway. And what a performance from Liam Williams. He celebrates, and well, he might. He had his legs under him, but he wasn't quite right. Williams knew that. Again, doesn't get too close. You can see him, look. Keeps that distance. And that left hook on the tempo was the shot that done him. Over he went. The damage is already done from the previous knockdown. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. One minute, 51 seconds of round number two. Our referee in charge, John Latham, stops the contest as the red corner was in no position to continue. Therefore, your winner, and now the WBC silver middleweight champion, Liam the Machine Williams. The Valleys will be rocking tonight. Liam Williams, very popular back home in Wales. And that was a very, very impressive victory.